Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. This is part two. I told you that we put this into the um, to the meat, into the ham maker. When we pack it, don't put it in, it'll cloud up, so don't do it. I've got to get this out because I've got to check it at this point. Well, let me just pull the whole thing over here. Where's my other pot holder? Okay. We'll see if we hit 80 Celsius. Because it's going to cloud up. That's why don't leave it in. Only put it in when you're checking it to see if it's done. 70. There goes my glasses. I can't see. Does that tell you? We have to wait just a bit. Yes, we're at 80 Celsius, so it's done. Okay. Now what I have to do, let me get this part out of the way because it's sitting on the mat that I want to put it on. set this on a mat just like this I'm gonna move it over there to get it out of everybody's way and it's gonna sit until this is cool when this is cool I'm gonna move it to the refrigerator just like this and I'm gonna leave it overnight they say just a couple of hours but my thing is I'm not even gonna to get to this till tomorrow so once this is completely cool I'm gonna move it into the refrigerator till tomorrow morning and then We'll learn how to get it out without it falling apart. Fingers crossed. You know? Uh, and that's pretty much it. Just remember, do not put this in it while it's cooking. When you take it out, then test it then. That would be the best way for you to do it and to make sure that you don't mess this up. And that was the one thing I should not have said on the first video to put it in there but that's what they said but once I saw the water and it started fogging up I said no don't do it so anyway I'll see you tomorrow in part three and we'll see how this comes out if we're having sandwiches tomorrow and this works we'll be using it take care bye bye